welcome to the zero. I am Chibizi Ezekiel. As the world increasingly shifts from fossil fuel power to emissions free electrification, recycling batteries is considered a key strategy in the fight against climate change. Gibson Kawago is a founder and chief technical officer of WAGA, which aims to reuse laptop batteries and provide affordable, reliable, and durable lithium ion battery solutions. Gibson also supports education for over 13 million people by solving digital problems and raising awareness of new technologies. Nazero is pleased to welcome Gibson Kawago. Yes, so I'm, I'm sure we are curious to know more from you that you are currently working with Wasafi FM to educate millions on new digital issues and technologies. What yeah. kind of strategy is the FM station employing and how have we been able to help? Has the campaign been effective at reaching new audiences? So uh, Wasafi FM and Wasafi TV is one among the biggest media right now in Tanzania where most of the audiences listening to this radio are youths. And uh, it, it has become successful because uh, youths are the ones working on the programs, looking from the editors, from the people preparing the sessions, from the presenters. Most of them are youths. One among the greatest things, they always look at how much you can deliver. And most of the times, the young people who are energetic, who are doing well in technologies, who are doing well in entertainment, who are doing well in each and every sector are given an opportunity to, uh, to give out what they know uh, to the community. Like there's one session called The Switch, which is always in the afternoon, where, you know, young people listen to the radio, listen to new songs, listen to different stories all over. We give them updates about the technology, we give them about the environment. And most of the times when you talk of uh, climate change, uh, if we speak about climate change very seriously, no one will listen because it's not an interesting topic. <laughs> it's yeah. not something that pulls the attention of everyone. So we, we need yeah. to present the idea of fighting the climate change in a good way. We tell them the impacts. We tell them what will happen. We show them where they will be this time tomorrow. I mean, that's awesome to hear from you. You know, but, but I'm, I'm a bit curious to find out from you um that what actually inspired you to start working towards clean energy solutions and what do you think we can inspire the young generations to do the same i mean how do we inspire them to do the same i mean i'll be happy to hear your thoughts on that what inspired me personally I, I was born in a village and i grew up in a village and most of the times electricity was a challenge and we had to travel over 32 miles to reach the charging stations back so that route made me think of how many people are facing the same problem out there. I remember my brother, after, after school in the evening, he could do his night studies using kerosene lamps. And at the end of the day, you find someone uh, is diagnosed like he, was, he has been smoking for years because they have been using the kerosene lamps to study. I said, why can't we make clean uh, source of energy that can light up our homes, that can power up our homes from different technologies? I was born in a place where I had no computer, so computer meant much to me. So having access to computers, then I said I could spend my time there. So I could go to a computer lab, play around, I learned how to use a computer. I kept on browsing and I started learning online how to make power banks. And I found there were, there were lithium ion batteries that are good to power the mobile phones, to power the power banks and to power the big battery packs. So I kept on researching. I went to the university. Then reaching to the university, we all had to have laptops. But I remember the first semester, just mid semester, everyone was complaining with the battery. So we started replacing our batteries. Then I started, uh, I was more interested on where do the batteries go? So 
I said, let me see how I can use these batteries. Then breaking them apart, I found their lithium one cells I've been searching for years, since 2009. Finally, I learned how to recycle laptop batteries and I started my company Waga. And right now we are making battery solutions for electric bikes in Tanzania, for power banks, for solar lamps, street lights, and even we have the Waga parks that we are now developing that can power the entire house off grid. That, that's awesome. Very special. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this is good. This is awesome. Uh, but of course, I believe that in every endeavors, there are some challenges or some difficulties. Um, so, what would you say are the bigger challenges that you have faced in the lithium ion battery industry, um, both abroad and specifically in Tanzania? Most of the times, handling lithium ion batteries uh, needs a lot of care. These processes need uh, big machines and need uh, good facilities to make sure that we effectively deal with them and we scale up and cover more people. So now, with the resource demanding production process of lithium ion batteries, um, you make an incredible effort to recycle and reuse. Um, despite this, the batteries cannot last forever. Um, is there any concern you know, for the environmental impact of their disposal? Right now, what we are working on is looking at the policies that are around guiding handling of batteries and imports of different appliances and equipment that are powered by lithium-ion batteries. Because we, we import so many second-hand uh, equipment like laptops. Even I'm, I'm assuming in the future we'll start importing second-hand electric cars. And I'm sure the biggest problem is the battery. So uh, I'm, I'm sitting around with different stakeholders looking at how we can look at different policies so that we can limit in the future the import of second-hand equipment that have batteries inside so that they can be uh, well handled. But to have a vision in the future, Waga will not only be repurposing and re reusing, but we will be recycling exactly. So we'll be transporting nothing. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. This is super amazing. Um, thank you very much for sharing your time and perspective today, Gibson. Um, they are truly enlightening. Um, so this is TBZ Ezekiel. I add my voice to the voices of my net zero international youth peers to monitor the action of our world leaders to achieve the net zero commitments. Together, we can achieve net zero. Thank you.